<laughs> I'm so glad to see um, so many of you back for day three of the Kenya One Health Conference. Um, we've had a great couple of days. We're going to do a, a full recap a little bit later on today. But so all I want to, to say today, right now, is that, you know, for those of you who were here yesterday, I hope that you came away really inspired about um, incorporating gender into your work and about how we're going to educate and, and train the next generation of One Health, health workers. So it was, it was a really um, inspirational day. Today, we are now really moving on um, into the policy space. So we've talked about research. We've talked about the concepts that we need to consider when we're doing One Health. Now we're really going to think about how do we get One Health into our policies and into the implementation on the ground. So this will be another exciting day. Really glad that we've got everybody um, here with us. Um, I've got a couple of just housekeeping reminders. So to those of you who are online, please make sure you mute your mics when you're joining. And for those of you who are joining us and participating with presentations online, make sure you switch on your video so that we can pin you. Um, everybody who is online, your opinions, your thoughts are really, really valuable. Please use the chat function to let us know what you think, as well as interact with the Mentimeter. So we're going to be going to Menti next. So everybody remember the, the website www.menti.com and Nick will come in a moment and give you the code. Um, this session is being recorded, it's being live streamed and by the end of the week we will have the edited videos up on the website. They can already be found on YouTube under the ILRI YouTube site. Um, remember all of you who are on um, social media, please join in the conversation. Um, tweet uh, using the hashtag KOHC2021 and follow us on Twitter. So with that, I would like to pass to Nicholas Ball for our first mentee of the day. Thank you very much, Dr. Lian, and welcome again, our online participants. So as usual, we'd love to gather your views on mentee. We have the code, we have the code 33551960. So our first question would be, we want to know any new knowledge that you've been gathering from the past two days? What is changing? Are you still there since you, you joined or are there some evolving thoughts along? If somebody says one health is the way. Mm -hmm. Gender is one health, is a, is a core competency. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, we need gender inclusion. Yeah, somebody also is saying that we need social scientists on board, which is true. We need to mainstream gender. We need to include the environment. We need a framework for One Health implementation. Yeah, those are some of the thoughts that we'll be capturing today. Yeah, so keep them coming, keep them coming. How many responses so far? 27, we can go up to 50. How many people do you have online? Three and then 315, yeah. So we are a tenth of, let's get to 50 or so. Yeah, collaboration is key. Gender, nobody is talking about One Health Education. <laughs> oh, we are good. I think we need more gender involvement. All right. Yeah, somebody says One Health is new to them. So I guess One Health Education is coming in. Uh, Social component, that's true. Let's see. Yeah, all right. So keep them coming, keep them coming. We are at 55. So we can go to the next question. And now that we've learned about the issue of co collaboration, which discipline would you like to include? Maybe you've been working alone or in silos. Which discipline would you want to move on? Maybe one discipline that you'd love to include. 
which would be your ideal one health oh journalism environmental scientists social sciences social sciences animal health gender the ministry of women and youth yeah gender experts yeah gender economists interesting i hope you are not kicking kicking out the vets and the medics <laughs> we're just including more it is at this point then after gathering the view we'll still come back to menti later on it's now my joy and pleasure to welcome Dr. Victor Yamo who will be taking us through the One Health policy and in implementation. He'll be assisted by Dr. Martin Baraza, who will also be joining later there, co-chairing the session. So over to you, Dr. Victor Karibu. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are, especially for the online uh, participants. I want to welcome you to this third day of the One Kenya One Health Conference. And uh, today we'll be tackling One Health policy and implementation. And essentially how we want to do it is we'll start with the implementation bit where we'll have a series of presentations for about 90 minutes. And then we will have uh, some highlights on uh, what has transpired this far. And then we will have the policy session, which is going to be a high level uh, panel uh, constituted by various government officials, uh, FAO and USAID, some of our donors. And so without much ado, I'd like to start with the first presentation. Essentially, what I will be requesting the presenters to do, if you are here, is to try and take about 10 minutes or max 12 minutes, and then allow us opportunity to ask one or two questions. And uh, since I'm not conversant with all of them, what I'll do is when the presenter comes, they will quickly introduce themselves, maybe in a minute, and then make the presentation.